Yo, what's going on YouTube? Dab plays here, and in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna drop my last settings video that I'm ever gonna drop. And today's video is gonna be about my iPad settings. So if you've ever wondered what Dab plays iPad sensitivity, basic controls, everything is, today's video is for you. So my last settings video got 3,000 likes. Let's see if this one can get 5,000 likes. Okay, let's hop into the settings. Okay, to start off with, we're gonna start at my basic settings and we're gonna start at the top. So aim assist is off and block sight warning are turned off and I'll explain later in the video why those are turned off. I have bolt action rifle and crossbow firing modes at the tap, shotgun set the tap, peak and open scope is turned off and I'll tell you later in the video why for that. And uh, basically everything else below this is practically default. Um, except for jump slash climb, I have that turned off because I like those buttons separated. Other than that though, everything else on the basic besides aim assist and block sight warning are pretty much default. So moving on to my graphic settings, I have my combat tab set to smooth 90 FPS because your bullets fly the fastest at 90 FPS. I have the style set on colorful, anti-aliasing turned on to remove jagged edges, the brightness jacked all the way up, and the auto adjust graphics turned off. I have the auto adjust graphics turned off because if your game lags and you dip below 30 frames per second, it will stay locked there until you reset your game. So controls is one of the main ones I know everybody wants to see. My controls have changed dramatically from my iPhone controls, as you can already clearly see. Uh, mostly on the right hand side of the screen is where you're going to find most of the buttons. I run five finger claw and three of those fingers are on my right hand. So for my right hand pointer finger, I tap my ADS button and then the right hand middle finger literally does just about everything else on that right hand side and then for the left hand side you have my moving button and my shooting button as well as the backpack button and my two fingers over here tap all those and then i also have a special layout just for taking screenshots that have all of the buttons that aren't necessary moved all up to the left hand corner and that way you can take amazing screenshots without any buttons in the way my vehicle settings are pretty much default minus where my buttons are placed. I moved my buttons to accommodate where my fingers sit over my iPad. Um, so this is pretty much just personal to, to you if you want to change it to wherever your fingers sit on your iPad. Um, that way you can, you can use your vehicle buttons way faster. Alright, moving on to the big one, which is sensitivity. I know everybody wants to see the sensitivity settings and I will be uploading the link for these in the description below as well. We have my third person camera set to 120%, my camera when parachuting set at 120%, and my first person camera set at 84. Uh, in the main camera settings, we have third person no scope at 120, first person no scope at 104, red dot holographic slash aim assist set at 60, two times scope at 36, three times scope at 27, four times scope at 17, six times scope at 14, and eight times scope at 12%. For my ADS sensitivity, my third person's at 120, my first person's at 104, red dot holographic aim assist at 60%, two times scope at 36, three times scope at 27, four times scope at 17, six times scope at 14, eight times scope at 13. And then gyroscope really doesn't matter because I don't play gyroscope with this giant iPad. I don't hold it. It sits on a stand in front of me. But I have heard turning gyroscope for scope only, even if you're not holding it, somewhat does help with the recoil. And these are the sensitivity settings I got for that from Hot Jukes. If you guys want to copy them, um, I don't I don't know if they help at all, but you can try. So for the scope settings, my no scope is set to the white reticle. My red dot is set to the yellow reticle. My holographic is set to the yellow reticle as well. I don't use the candid sight, but I did set it to the yellow reticle as well as all of these. The red dot and the candid have the cross reticle. I don't like the just the dot style. Uh, my two times scope is set to green and my three times scope is set to green and I do have my quick scope switch on as you saw on my controls layout using the quick scope switch is way faster than opening your backpack and trying to do it manually now I want to go back to my basic settings and talk about why I have aim assist and block sight warning turned off uh, first of all aim assist does not help you a whole lot it actually hinders you I feel in this game you want to be able to control where your reticle is being pulled 100% of the time by your thumb not aim assist pulling it for you and the reason I have block sight warning turned off is because if you're third person peeking a corner and you use the right handed lean, you actually can see further around a corner than most players can and you can pre-place your reticle and get little quick snipes around corners that way. Well that wraps it up for the settings, let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay of me putting it into action. What? What? I'm up here? No way man.
excellent work. All right, that's going to be it for the settings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop down below and hit a like button, and we'll see you in the next one.